，然后 Form Four Final Exam Paper Three， okay， there will be two sets， so the first set will be the this the <laughs> sodium tetrasulfate， hmm，、mm? there will be two possible um factor， so first one is temperature， you will adjust the temperature， so uh you will have this。Apparatus set up to check whether do you have all these apparatus, so you need to check to make sure all the apparatus um to is is ready for you. Then, this is the procedure. So first, you measure fifty cm cube of zero point one mole per dm cube or so in type of surface solution using measuring cylinder and pour into the conical flask. Then heat the solution type of surface until thirty Celsius. Place it on a paper with an X mark. Measure five cm cube two mole per dm of red acid is added in, uh, immediately into the sodium type of and start the stopwatch. So stop the stopwatch once the X disappeared from the site. Time taken for the X mark to disappear from the site is recorded. So the the experiment is repeated with thirty five, forty, forty five, and fifty. Okay. So for for this experiment, right, uh, the precaution step is you need to make sure that um, if let's say because the thermometer reading won't be so. A responsive example. Let's say, um, if you put a thermometer okay into a a solution that which um fifty Celsius okay, let's say you put inside thermometer, the thermometer won't able to give you a a immediate reflect uh re response. So means that when you put inside, it won't straight away show you fifty E. The mercury takes some time to expand to go up. Okay, even if you use the alcohol thermometer, also the same, it won't expand so fast. So, um, you need to wait. So, in order to heat until fifty Celsius, ah, uh, for, for the uh for the precaution, the step is the step is your Bunsen burner. This is your Bunsen burner, ah. Uh. So, um, the best is if you want to heat until thirty Celsius, right? Let's say example, if you want to heat until uh thirty five. Five Celsius. So what you need to do is um you wait to heat up until about thirty Celsius, then you remove the Bunsen burner first. Okay, because from thirty you slowly increase to thirty five. Okay, if not enough, let's say increase to thirty four, you you can take the uh Bunsen burner heat a while more than take up. Okay, you need to control the temperature a bit to the five, slightly above maybe until thirty six. Then we can cool down to thirty five. Then you can start the experiment. Okay, so these are the precautionary steps. But if you really accidentally overheat to maybe, uh, thirty nine. In this case, right, you can 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 start the second experiment first. Means further heat until forty. Start the forty Celsius first. Uh, don't don't waste your time to wait for the, uh, solution to cool down. Okay, you you see which one is nearer to you. Okay, so if like thirty five, you heat until thirty six, then can wait a while. But if you like heat until thirty nine like this, then you maybe can conduct the the next experiment forty, forty five, and fifty years. Okay, because uh the paper tree only forty five minutes, so you need to draw graph later, so it actually consume a lot of time. So um you need to remember all the decimal. Okay, for the decimal part, right? For temperature. You remember when you record down this this you need to uh 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 fill up this time table, uh this 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 uh table. So, uh remember to use one decimal one decimal. Then for the time taken right, it depends on which apparatus you get. So if you get the analog version analog version time uh stopwatch, you take remember need to write what we call this is. Ah, uh, fifty. This is fifty-five. Remember to write one decimal, one decimal for all the apparatus. Okay, so this one is forty-seven point zero cells a second. Then this is um forty-one point zero second. Okay, so this is ah. Uh, remember to write one decimal if you're using the analog, analog stopwatch. If you're using the ah uh, digital stopwatch, you remember digital stopwatch already give you two decimal. So you just follow three point seven six two decimal. Okay, so this will depends on which apparatus you get. It's one of the K bar skill that you you need to respond to the question and not memorizing the answer. So uh, you will take the reading. Okay, you take the reading. This three second. 
then 17.0 second, 14.0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So the, the, the second you, you recorded. Then um you need to divide. Let's say if you're using the analog, you take one decimal. If you're using the uh, digital, you take two decimal. Then one over time. This is time. Uh, you, this is your time. Then one over time. Okay, for one more time, you, you calculate to three significant. Three significant is calculated from here. Nah. So this is one zero zero. So the rest is just follow the three significant. After that, they will ask you to plot a graph between the temperature versus one over time. Okay, temperature versus one over time. So you plot the graph from zero. Okay, this is plot the graph. Okay, plotting graph, you have four marks here. You have four marks here. The next question will show you how they they, uh, they, they, they give you the four marks. Then uh, they will, after you get these four marks, they will have one mark that um wants you to state the relationship. Because uh, one over time is rate of reaction. Real reaction. So temperature versus one real reaction. So we can see the relationship is uh, the higher the temperature, the higher the real reaction. So you, you write here, you get extra one more marks here. Please remember all the answer right, right in detail. Huh? All the answer right in detail. Um, then from the graph, they'll ask you to find out the answer for 55. So how do you, how do you write? You need to show in the exam. You need to put a 55 here, top third to the other side, then top third down to here. You need to show in the graph. Then here will be around um, 0 0.13. Okay, so... Uh, here you have one mark by showing in the graph that how do you get 0 0.13. Then um, the time, one over time is 0 0.13, so time will go to 7.7 seconds. So at least you get one mark again. State one observation, you will see yellow precipitate form, and this yellow precipitate is sulfur. So for observation uh, is what do you observe, what do you see, what do you hear, what do you smell in the in the experiment? That inference is to explain what happened again. For like example, yellow piece is formed. Then you explain why. Uh, because the yellow piece is sulfur. So you say sulfur is formed. Okay, so this is the, the idea. Okay, MV. The manipulator variables, what we control is the temperature of the sodium tire sulfate solution. Then responding variables now will be the time taken for the X mark to disappear from the site. Control variables uh, is the volume and concentration of sodium tisulfate solution. So what is the hypothesis for this experiment is the higher the temperature of sodium tisulfate, the shorter the time taken for the X mark to disappear from the site. Remember to write from site because the X mark does not disappear. It just covered by the X. So you need to write from site. means your eye cannot see. But the X actually is still there. Okay, operational definition. What is operational definition? So first you must know that um, operational definition is uh, what do you observe? So what is the observation that tell you rate of reaction? Okay, how fast is the reaction? So we refer to the time taken. Time taken. Simple procedure. So we refer to the time taken. So you can you can uh, see here that it's uh, uh, operation that uh, uh, the observation that tell you uh, uh, real reaction is the time taken for X mark to disappear from site. So this one tells you that if the real reaction is high, means fast reaction, then the time taken will be short. If the real reaction is low, okay, which is the, the, the very slow reaction, then the time taken will be long. Okay, so this is the, the reference, okay, that tell you that, uh, the observation that tell you that real reaction. Then the next one is simple procedure. Simple procedure is like you briefly explain what do you do in the experiment. Like um, what do I do? Uh, I so then type surface solution in the conical flask is added with some acid and put on uh, a piece of paper which is um, uh, and with X bar. Okay, so then the next one, if the hydrochloric acid is with the same concentration replaced by sulfur acid, what will happen? Now, for hydrochloric acid, right, it's a monoprotein acid. Sulfur acid is a diprotein acid. Okay. 
So it means um, the rate of reaction will be slower because hydrochloric acid actually the, the concentration of H plus is only half of the sulfur acid. So the reaction will be slower. So the total volume is always the same. Why total volume always must be the same? Because um, you see, this is the observation part that this is my X mark. So the water, the solution is very important that if the solution, uh, one is more solution, one is less solution, right? This one will be very hard to observe from above the X. So you see, more what more solution means harder to, to observe the axis a bit. So best is both are same volume. Same volume means for that. Let's say this is 100 cm cube. This one also 100 cm cube will be the best. Okay, to observe the the x. Okay, the second experiment is uh, concentration. Okay, it's either temperature or concentration. So temperature is higher chance. Mm -hmm. But you need to prepare yourself for concentration also. So for concentration, how it works now, everything is the same. Uh, measure 40 cmq of a certain type of solution, 0 0.2 mole per dmq and point to a conical flask. Place the conical flask on the X mark, everything same. Then put 5 cmq of the 1 mole per dmq of acid at the same time start the stopwatch. Swirl the solution. Then the next one, uh, observe, stop the stopwatch, record the time taken. So for this one, right, you need to repeat the experiment. So the first experiment is using 45. Okay. So the second experiment, uh, um, you see, I did the, the idea. This is 45 and, and 0. Then this is 40 and 0. 30, 15. Uh, 20, 25, 10, and then 35. So for this, all this solution, they set to be the, the volume is 50. Okay, the volume is 50. So after added the, the sulfur acid up, so 45 of acid, uh, so, so then type sulfur, and then 5 cm cube of sulfur acid. So you need to calculate the concentration. So the first one, no problem, still 0 0.2. The second one, right, because uh, what happened is you added 40 of the sodium tau sulfate, and then you add 5 cm cube of the uh, distilled water to dilute it. So using the theory that uh, M1V1 equals to M2V2, The original concentration is um, 0 0.2. The original sodium tauser is 40. Then after that, right, because you add 5 cm cube of the water, you add 5 cm cube of water, distilled water. So the final volume becomes 45. So in this case, your M2 will equals to 0 0.2 times 40 divide by 45 okay so using this one you're able to calculate out the 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 concentration for the second one would be 0 0.18 the next one uh you put 30 or certain types of it 15 of distilled water so it become 30 is the original number then diluted to 45 so it becomes 0 0.13 then 20 25 and then the 35 and 10. So you see some, you put 20 or certain types of it at 25, or distilled water become 45. This one, or 10 cmq or certain types of it at 35, distilled water diluted to 45. So the concentration you can see is different. Then after that, you'll record down the time, conduct experiment, get the time for me, 20, on this number. I uh, remember the decimal, right? I didn't put for you here because it really depends on the, the, the solution that you get, uh, the, the stopwatch that you get. So if you get the analog one, put one decimal. If you get the digital one, please put two decimal. Huh? So this is the value you get. Then what is the manipulator variables will be concentration of the sodium type sulfate. Respondings will be the um, time taken for the X part to disappear from site. Uh, fixed variables will be this, that concentration and volume of the, this temperature. Temperature and volume of the sodium tau sulfate. Or you can write total volume or mixture size of conical flask. So what is the hypothesis? The higher the concentration of sodium tau sulfate solution, the shorter the time taken for the X part to disappear from the site. 
Okay, so this is the, the graph. You plot out the graph. You okay, have four marks here. How they give you the four marks, you can see here the marking scheme that the X, X axis and um Y axis need to need to label correct with correct unit. You need to write the correct unit. You need to write the correct unit. You get one mark here. Now with that, uh, the skill must be uh same. Okay, the skill must be same, must be more than 50% of the graph. It okay, means this graph, uh, uh this this line must um Occupy for fifty uh, percent of the graph, more than fifty percent. Cannot be too small. It cannot be too small. Then the next one, all the all the point you transfer correctly from here. Uh, you need to calculate one over time. You transfer the them correctly. Then after that, um, the relationship. Okay. Then after that, uh, the next one is the the shape of the graph is a straight line. Is a straight line, not 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 a curve. Okay, so everything here you get correctly. You get four marks here. Then after that, they'll give you one more extra mark. I ask you the relationship. So I told you before, this is real reaction. So um, the higher the concentration, the higher the real reaction. Okay, you can see it's increasing, increasing both sides. Then they'll ask you to predict 0 0.22. In this case, um, uh, as I say, you need to show in the graph how do you get the value for 0 0.22. So 0 0.22 is around here, half of the graph. Then you dot that here. Then you need to give me what is the reading for this. About 0 0.59. Like this, you get one mark. Then after that, you, you return here. Lock. One over time, it goes to uh, 0 0.059. Then the time will be 16.9. This one's 0 0.055. One more zero here. Okay, so this one how you show you get you get three marks here. Then operation definition, what is the rate of what is the observation that tell you the rate of reaction? And what is the simple procedure that how do you conduct the experiment procedure? So real reaction. Uh, is the time taken for X mark to disappear from site when sodium thiosulfate solution in the conical flask is added sulfur acid and put on a piece of paper with the uh, X mark. Okay, the size of conical flask also uh, must be the same. The reason is because uh, um, if you use bigger conical flask, it actually need more sulfur to cover the X. So this is a small conical flask. If you use bigger conical flask, you actually need more sulfur to cover the X. Okay, because the sulfur will spread evenly at the bottom of the conical flask. So if the bigger one, then you need more to, to, to cover. Then the, the, the always the same so that you get the same height of the mixture. 